Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new Blackout Valorant video. Hopefully you guys had an amazing Christmas because I know I did and I appreciate really being back to give you guys more updates and more Valorant videos. So we're going into 2023 and I feel like really now is a pretty good time to start talking about what we could see within the next year for Valorant. So I actually created a list of features and stuff that should be coming within the next year. So we're going to go through everything and we're going to have actually some honorable mentions at the end so going through the first item on our list we're going to be talking about valorant coming to console so if you guys don't know i also created a video talking about valorant coming to console in 2023 and what we could likely see uh but with valorant coming to console obviously it's more growth for the valorant community and even though we don't have a release month we have a release year we know it's coming out in 2023 i feel like valorant on console is going to be a huge turning point for the game as a whole i mean when you think about it consoles have games like apex fortnite you know call of duty so it, it really does make sense for valorant to come to console because i feel like a lot of people have wanted to try valorant but it's a it's been a pc exclusive for literally i think two years uh, two a little over two years of its conception so now that it's making its way to console riot is finally pushing this out within the next year uh it's a really good time to start getting into valorant start keeping up with the game and definitely like this video because it definitely helps share it with new viewers within the youtube algorithm as well so i really do appreciate that as well guys so thank you so much so the second item on this list is the fact that we're likely going to get anywhere between two to three maps next year so as you guys know i also created a new map i mean a new video on the city of flowers it will show up in a tag in the corner or something you guys can check that out but we do already have a map making its way to valorant sometime very soon so that's probably going to be the first of, th of three new maps within the 2023 year 2023 cycle and if i had to guess with valorant on console i feel like the updates will align with valorant on pc in terms of how consistently you guys will get updates so i mean this is no guarantee but it should be that way so if that's the case that would be absolutely awesome but yeah over the course of the next year we already know the city of flowers is coming out and i expect probably maybe probably another two maps or so so if we get more than three maps that would be insane but yeah two to three maps next year all right so the latest agent that we have received from riot is harbor harbor is the new controller harbor is actually a really good controller he's really fun to play now it, how high does he peak will vary from player to player but but if you take the time to learn him, he's actually extremely fun. So getting into Harbor and getting into new agents, I expect anywhere from three to four new agents within the 2023 year. Uh, since obviously Riot tends to release more agents than they do maps, since maps are a lot more, I would say, impactful in terms of how the game is played uh, versus agents. Obviously, agents like Chamber have been a complete mess uh, since their inception and now just recently uh, got aligned with the rest of the roster. So they're not as oppressive as they were before. But I am excited to see the new agents within the 2023 year. I don't think this is the year for a picks or, or pick and ban or, or i guess pick slash ban system yet i don't i don't think we're that far into the valorant roster for that to be needed or necessary but i do definitely see that coming out within the next probably about two to three years so more out there when it comes to pick and bans but definitely somewhere between two to four new agents within the 2020 Ugh, guys help me out here 2023 year the fourth new major feature or updates on this list is going to be that tournament mode so as you guys know tournament mode has something it's been something of you know it's it's been worked out with with riot there's there's really been no coherent tournament mode released yet and i, I think the case ends up being that they just don't feel comfortable releasing that just yet and it makes sense i don't think those are one of the major things that riot needs to stress about at the current time of valorant there are some other more important features on this list that take presidents over a tournament mode would i be happy if when the tournament mode makes it into valorant we do know it is coming yes when it does come that's going to be amazing but yeah tournament mode 2023 for a pretty high chance the number fifth thing on our list and that is new ways to earn skins now i did hear about riot trying to implement some new forms of earning skins you know like uh, i guess amazon prime i you know when when amazon prime has their i guess uh or I guess Twitch Prime has their promotions where you get like, you know, free RP if you play League of Legends. Uh, in this case, it would be free Valorant points 
if you do have an Amazon Prime subscription, as well as other in-game modes to earn skins, such as if you look at League of Legends and they have their whole event system where you can earn certain skins, I definitely think that will be making its way into Valorant sometime in the future. I think the general consensus is that events will just get better over time with Valorant. Even with League of Legends, events got better over time. Certain events were obviously better than others, but Riot has really gotten it down packed in terms of how they want to run their events in League of Legends, and hopefully that makes its way to Valorant within 2023 as well, because they've done a pretty good job. I just think they could do a little bit more, um, but yeah. Next, this is actually some really big news that came out this week. Valorant will finally be making its way to China, and that is actually really, really good news. Constant growth for a game is super duper important, and I feel like a lot of people have gotten a chance to play Valorant in China, but a more legal way is just, you know, the game being approved, going through the government system, and that seems to be the case. So now Valorant will be making its way to China officially, which is super amazing, because like I said, people get their hands on Valorant. They get to fall in love with this game the same way they fell in love with League of Legends and other games, Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is also, I guess Overwatch in general is also really popular in China, which is just super cool. But yeah, Valorant is finally coming to China, and that's just awesome because it's just more growth more community and a lot more connection around the world when it comes to Valorant. So this is something I'm personally super happy about, but let me know in the comment section below. And lastly, the final and most major update I think Valorant really needs in 2023 and I think will be making its way to 2023 is a spectator and VOD mode. So these are essential when it comes to very competitive games. League of Legends has had a spectator slash VOD mode for such a long time, literal years and years. It's just been in the game since almost the, I wouldn't say the initial beginning, but it, it got support for that very early on and it's just been in the game ever since. And Valorant really needs that spectator slash VOD mode because if it was in the game, a lot more people would be improving way faster. It is just so necessary. I'm like shocked it is not in the game yet, but in 2023, I 90% chance, 90% chance personally, this is the year for spectator slash VOD mode. It's number one top priority, which is why it is the last on this list and last I want to take the most time to talk about because it would be really helpful even for competitive teams, uh, for the community to create more fun uh, content and just overall creativity. It just, it needs to be there. 2023 spectator VOD mode has to be there no question about it but yeah uh honorable mentions like i said i was going to give you guys a list of you know stuff that i think should be in the game as honorable mention but not necessarily like needed uh possible future pve content to compete with overwatch 2 is this likely um not in the year of 2023 i very much really don't think so uh honorable mention number two get rid of map rotation stop cutting out content in games uh i think this is possible but maybe not in 2023 right seems to be uh stuck on a specific type of I guess uh, map rotation mindset where like they want to rotate things out to make changes but you don't really need to do that since you could just kind of like see the stats see the statistics of you know people's gameplay and then make the changes and then drop an update in the next you know major update or major actor episode uh, but unfortunately uh, they rather just take out the content and be like yeah we're just gonna take it away and you know and then make the changes to it I'm like you can do it you can do both anyway yeah um, other is just new custom modes, new game modes. Uh, those would be really helpful for creativity within the community as well. New creative custom modes, just, you know, VOD system, all that good stuff that needs to be overhauled. You know, the VOD system already put that in the main, uh, in the main features list. So yeah, just uh, a custom mode, new game modes, you know, Swift play is, is cool. So, but like, you know, some other more interesting modes, maybe that could fall in the PV content uh, window as well, but uh, we'll have to see. Anyway that is my list guys first off i wanted to say thank you so much guys for supporting me we are we are almost to like 1700 subs which is absolutely insane this channel has been live for like a year and a half and i just really been enjoying this journey and i'm happy to be on it with you guys and i will ride this journey till the very end because this is really what makes me happy at the end of the day and i am super excited for the future uh hopefully you guys had a merry christmas happy holidays hopefully guys going into the new year you get to accomplish everything that you set out to do just stay focused keep grinding and never give up anyway guys i appreciate each and every one of you for more future valor updates news information leaks all that good stuff subscribe turn on notifications for future valor videos and updates all that uh, my name is Blackout, as always, guys, and as always, till next time. Peace.
Let's follow.